Hello, my name is Stephen Munitonis, the CEO of Katsu Global. And we actually uh, produce a variety of products. One we call the Katsu Nano. It's a small unit you can hold in your hand. Or our medical device that we use with a pulse oximeter. So this is a set and this is a set. Today I'm going to show you how to use a Katz Nano. Um, I'm going to turn it on. The passcode is 0000. zero, zero, zero. Enter and I have the screen. Before every Katsu session, we recommend that you drink plenty of water. It's very important that you are well hydrated. We have bands for the arms. You see, I already have one on my arm. And bands for the legs. You see one on my leg. We have our tubes that connect from the band like this. And you should hear a click to the machine. I've had this on now for a few minutes. You can see the difference in my one arm versus the other. This is more pink. This is my normal color. You also see th some veins. I have plenty of blood flow going into my arm. I will use this pulse oximeter to demonstrate that. So I have plenty of blood going into my arm and there is blood flow to and from my arm. It is very, very safe. And uh, you can see my pulse rate is 57 heartbeats per minute. My oxygen saturation, SpO2, is between 99 and 98. So once I have this on, I'm going to show you how to put the other band on. I grab the tube connect it to the band and connect it to the side. Then I put the band on. I put it through the loop. Then I stick my arm through, put it all the way up past the bicep in the little crease here. With my same hand, I hold what we call the outer button, pull, and put it around. The band should be snug, but not tight. So I should barely be able to put a finger in. And now, I recommend you only use the Katsu cycle. You press it, hit continue, and I would begin always at 100. You probably don't need to go over 200. This scale is from 0 to 400. So I would focus on 100, and if you over time get um, uh, more powerful, stronger, you can increase to 120, 140, perhaps up to um, 200. I hit full cycle and you will hear a sound that is air going into the tubes. I recommend you only do three exercises. Very simple. The first exercise is open and close your hands. Gently, very easy. This will go for three minutes and 20 seconds. 
So, three minutes and 20 seconds, I would just do this. You could, of course, just sit. The second exercise is bicep curls. Very simple. Just go up and down. If you feel energetic, you can make a muscle. Go up and down. That will make it more challenging. But you can simply move your hand up and down. So the first exercise is hand grips. Nice and slow. One, two, three. Second exercise is bicep curls. One, two, three. And the third exercise is tricep extensions. Just push your arm up and down. So you're working the back of the muscle. So the first exercise, you're working the front of the muscle, the forearm. The second exercise, you're working on the bicep. And the third exercise, you're working the back of the arm. That's all you would need to do. This takes 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And you just exercise until it's over. You can repeat once or twice. For your legs, after your arms are finished, you disconnect from your arms, remove the band from the arms, connect to your legs. I apologize for this sound because I made a change. Turn it off here. And for your legs, you can do very simple um, exercises. This is the other leg band, but I will simply show you can move your feet up and down, up and down. You can stand up and sit down, stand up and sit down, very easy. And the last exercise is simply move your leg up and down. So the three exercises for your legs, heel raises. hamstring curls and squats, just getting up and down in a chair. So those are three exercises for your upper body, three exercises for your lower body, and that's all. If you want to work on your core, it's very simple. With your leg bands on, simply balance. This will actually tighten your core. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, always feel free to email or call. Thank you.